Hello, and welcome to the first annual Follow Money, Fight Slavery Summit. I'm Sam Graber, Chief Communications Officer for the Anti-Human Trafficking Intelligence Initiative, also known as ATII. Throughout the virtual summit, you will hear industry thought leaders discuss the importance of how now, more than ever, it is time for financial institutions to take action against human trafficking. Human trafficking is a financial crime, and this is an industry call to action. In this short video, I will share a quick overview of ATII, what we do, what we offer, and why and how we do it. Team ATII combats global human trafficking by promoting corporate social responsibility through increasing awareness, facilitating intelligence integration, and technology advancement, all while encouraging strategic data collaboration. We focus on one outcome, to combat human trafficking as a united front. ATII is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization founded in 2019. We want to help you capitalize on the momentum of reporting even more activity that may in fact be related to human trafficking. The addition of the human trafficking checkbox was a huge step forward and there is more we can do together. Through broader transaction review, we believe, we believe that increased suspicious activity and suspicious transaction reporting will enhance human trafficking investigations. We offer our allies a few very unique offerings. Through our partnership with Manchester CF, we have e-learning courses for the financial industry. These include a human trafficking patterns course and a money laundering patterns course. We provide access to our database of high-risk persons for due diligence. We have a very robust team looking at digital blockchain forensics. We provide curated data evidence for crime investigators. And through our partnership with KPN Consulting, we have many speaking engagement packages with allies who are experts in many different financial fields. Our database of high-risk persons for due diligence represents unique mining of open source intelligence in which we identify characteristics and profiles common to human trafficking patterns. We work through business names, email addresses, phone numbers, postal addresses, and domain names. So just how do we do it? I can't divulge all our secrets, but I will tell you this. We call together high-risk human trafficking data set that we provide to financial institutions, where they in turn plug these into their compliance and other systems in their banking. They then run their customers through the systems, and if they get a match on the name, business name, phone number, email address, address or website that is on our human trafficking high-risk data set, that will then in turn raise a red flag. It is then up to the investigations team to dig deeper and do further due diligence. So by engaging in strategic and collaborative global partnerships, we're able to scrape the dark web for this information. We trace and track cryptocurrency and we compile, compile these data sets of multiple contact points for each high risk person or entity. Some of our strategic and collaborative global partnerships are listed here. We have a plethora of partners and more are being added every month. So please uh, plug into our followmoneyfightslavery.org website to see any of our current additions. So when we're looking and using traditional techniques to detect human trafficking, the alert on an unusually large transaction would appear normal because this know your customer file has stated that John Doe owns Event Planning LLC and it hosts events and conferences. So alerting to a $4,000 deposit or a $5,000 deposit, $5, deposit into the bank account being paid over to Riverside Motel may not raise much of a red flag. But if you have ATII's data set plugged in, it would have alerted you because the name match for John Doe in this particular example is in the data set, therefore raising that red flag for your internal team to dig deeper. 
Cryptocurrency is being used with increasing frequency as a method of payment on websites that cater to the human trafficking, child exploitation, and CSAM industries. Just to let you know, the CSAM stands for Child Sexual Abuse Material. Now these websites, these payments are used on websites such as advertisement sites, dark web, met, uh, dark web marketplaces, and adult sites. We demystify cryptocurrency for financial institutions. Our human exploitation and trafficking wallet risk data includes transaction, identification information, and blacklisted wallets that can be integrated into your forensic software and exchange platforms. Those of you listening or watching who are in our law enforcement um, areas, we want you to be sure to, to tap into one of the resources that we have. Qualified agencies can apply to receive access to the ATII data set to use in conjunction with ADF digital forensic software. If you are one of our law enforcement allies, please reach out to be introduced to this company so that you can gain access to that information. Now here's where we really distinguish ourselves. As mentioned earlier, one of our key platforms is corporate social responsibility. And corporate social responsibility, also known as CSR, is a self-regulating business model that helps a company be socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders, and on all aspects of society, including but not limited to economic, social, and environmental issues. Being a socially responsible business can bolster your company's image and build your brand. Consumers are searching for companies that share the same values and that have made public commitment to use their business as a force for good. Earn the confidence of your community by laying a solid foundation for social expectation. Let us at ATII help you earn their confidence by showing you how to follow the money to fight slavery, which is what this summit is all about. We'll provide you with the tools to identify human trafficking. Now, there are many ways in which stakeholders can collectively work to impede human trafficking activities. One is through direct financial interference. By taking advantage of the programs developed by ATII, ethically responsible institutions are not only taking action to protect their consumers, but are also preserving their integrity, reputation, and sustainability. By partaking in the programs through ATII, your company can plug its way, plug itself into the sustainable development goals established by the United Nations. Number 16, specifically, peace, justice, and strong institutions, where together we can strengthen institutions to prevent violence and combat terrorism and crime. You may not be aware of this, but 75% of financial institutions admit they aren't confident in identifying human trafficking in consumer transactions. So if you find yourself in that camp, you are not alone. And again, that is the sole purpose of Follow Money Fight Slavery Summit is to help you gain more tools so that you can be more socially responsible. An equal percentage, 75% of customers said they would drop their bank if it did not demonstrate a proactive attitude to fighting unethical processes. ATII's not-for-profit mission is to share our unique data resources with law enforcement agencies at no charge. Now, similarly, our basic high-risk database training programs and tools to detect, prevent, and report human trafficking are available to the financial sector at no charge. With your charitable contribution, we will continue to develop and freely share effective modalities to follow money, fight slavery. If you would like to discuss anything contained in this brief presentation, please give me uh, and send me an email. I'm Sam at followmoneyfightslavery.org and I will be sure that your email gets to the appropriate person on our team. Thank you for your time.